Welcome back. It's Sports This Morning. We're broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's always an action-packed world of sports. What are you talking about? We want you to be part of the show this morning. You could talk to us. Our feedback mechanisms are still the same on Twitter. Channels underscore sports. Facebook channels at FN Sports. Email sports this morning at channelstv.com. We started the show um, talking about the Paralympics Games. Six more days to go. Team Nigeria, we told you the, the list has been unveiled. You know the athletes that represent the country, but they are still you know, chilling in Abuja, waiting for the Minister of Sports to give them the go-ahead to start living for Rio. We will continue to monitor the Paralympic Games. You can also talk to us. We also told you that um, the new technical advisor of the Super Eagles has joined the team in Rio. They are getting ready for that Saturday's AFCON not serious match against Tanzania because you know the star Egypt has qualified from Group B. But Raw, we use that to you know monitor the team, assess the team, look at players that can actually execute the country's quest to qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Also on the menu, ah, Tayo told you it's the final day of the transfer market and uh, today you hear all sorts we've already started by telling you some of the players are moving from one club to another are you still surprised joe hart has gone to torino jack will share my believe in us now for either bournemouth or crystal palace if i'm not mighty we'll leave for either of those um english premier league mm. sites talk to us twitter channels underscore sports facebook channels i think sports let's go to the super eagles camp now and we will find out what's going on cecilia tire 20 players yeah. already in camp as a last night uh the big boy john michael obi uh, captain of his side is in camp cecilia ahmed musa is also there under the supervision of the new technical advisor i think these are this is a this is a pretty good new day for so the super yeah. eagles yeah, definitely. Mm. Victor Simeon De Gallo, Victor mm. Moses Kalichi, Enacho, yeah. Wifred and Dede Nusai Gebo, wow. Brownie Deye, Imo Ezeke, Ogenyo Nazi, Edison Echejili, William Trist Ekon. Yes. These are the players that are already in camp. It's a full house. Yeah. And of course, uh, the coach should be happy that all the players actually came in time <laughs> and they had their first training session yesterday. And uh, Tony Bito, you should be talking to us this morning. Mm -hmm. And if uh, we have new players that may have arrived over the night because it's yeah, yeah, about some yeah some are expected to come in uh, today, today so yes i'm sure tony will give us you know updates on that particular one um uh, moses simon is, is yeah. expected today mm -hmm. uh kingsley uh, madu you know also uh um, supposed to be in town today as well so we'll find out from tony but i mean austin uh, you said new days new uh, i don't want to use new expectations era, uh, because uh, that's becoming uh, a cliche now uh, but um, it's very impressive that those players have responded uh, right. to this particular call-up again. I wonder why. I mean, because the game really... Oh, them. I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, they've all it's shown up on Tuesday. It's a new man around. 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 Is it because the man is German? Mikael Jalobi. I mean, he's just most of them. I can't remember the last time that... The weather's, you know, Victor very Victor Moses, sweet. Moses, right? Yeah. Victor, Victor Moses is town sweet, early, yeah. you know, no. response to, to national but clubs. But it's good. It's it is good. good, I know. Especially in a game that's really not so that important. Is not, yeah. I uh, think they're looking at the qualifiers for Russia. Yeah, of that's a big one here because they know the way you perform here, it's going to determine if you're going to have uh, a shirt with the national That's team. right. And again, they understand that we know that our football is in a state of emergency. We don't <laughs> want to know whether this game is important or not. Nigerians expect whenever the spy goes file out, they must win. Let's go to you in a quiet one state. That's the camp of well, that's the camp of for the Super Eagles. Tony Bito is the media officer. He's standing by now to talk to us. Good morning, Tony. Welcome to the program. Hello, Tony. Okay, Tony, good morning and welcome to the show. We're talking about that the 20 players are already in camp as at last night. This morning, what is new? Yeah, the, everything is good. Everything is good. 20 players in camp. We're expecting to, to arrive today. Kingsley Madu and uh, Moses Simon. And then we are expecting Kali Keme um, to come on Thursday. Uh, they were excused by the coaches to come a little later than the other ones. Uh, but then the 20 players in camp are in good spirits and uh, they're all fired up. As you said, this is not about Tanzania. It is more about the 2018 World Cup qualifiers and the need for us to begin a good stretch of excellent performances and victories um, that will get us to the Russia World Cup. So everything is good. 
Um, Akwai Bomb is always um, home for, for the Eagles. Um, fantastic atmosphere, good pitch, and um, we can always look forward to having a good time, a good game on Saturday, more importantly, and then uh, how we can build up on the momentum going forward. Uh, we have a test game. It's not this match later today um, against Aqua United. Uh, that will help the coach to uh, have a real first stand check on the team and have an idea of what he wants to do against Nigeria on, uh, I beg your pardon, against uh, Tanzania on, on Saturday. Well, for the, the boys, you know, as you said, we talked about the fact that it's all about Russia 2018. That's what they're looking forward to. For them, are they taking this game seriously? Because we mentioned some names that we saw uh, in, in camp, like of Victor Moses, Kalichi, and Nacho, and the others. Or is it because we have a new coach? That's the reason most of them report quickly to camp. No, you, you know, you, you can't follow the commitment of the players. Um, they've always responded in national court. They've always been around on time. The, the FIFA window is so short, so tight, that uh, you have to count make every minute count. Uh, so the players have always shown that commitment. You can't fault them. Uh, they've always shown up uh, when, when the coach calls them up. Um, but it is um, a lot more important because this is the first time they are coming under a new coach. Um, impression, first impression, they say, matters a lot. This is the first time under a new coach. We are also using this to prepare for the World Cup qualifiers. The players want to show to the coach, the technical crews, that their call-up um, is deserved and that they deserve to remain in the team for a long time. So a lot of issues um, for, for, to keep these boys motivated ahead of uh, uh, Saturday's game. And we want to start with a win. I talked about starting a culture of victory, um, winning mentality, confidence, going into our work of qualifiers. And there's no better way to do it than to start with a win uh, against Tanzania on Saturday. Okay, Tony. Um... We hear uh, Coach Imama has left uh, camp already, and according to reports, uh, we, we heard um, uh, the German coach and Gunnar Rohr uh, doesn't really want him uh, in camp. Well, what is the real situation uh, with that uh, story? Uh, let, let, me, let me warn once again that uh, you should be careful the kind of stories you, you rely on or trust. That, that story is not 80% true. It is not 90% true. It is 100% false. Coach Imama has only gone because Rangers have a game today against MFM in Enugu. He will be back in camp. But I don't know what uh, purpose that story is meant to serve. The new coach had a meeting with the backroom and the players yesterday. It was very warm. It was very cordial. It was, it was a very, very intense uh, session that we had with him. And then the Teko Kuku also had theirs. Separately, and they had healthy discussions, planning ahead of uh, the game against uh, Tanzania and subsequent matches. And Imama was actively involved, contributing and uh, laughing together, having a wonderful time together. So I don't know why someone will just go and conjure a story that uh, the coach doesn't want uh, Imama. It's absolutely false. It's not true. I just want to advise that you please discountenance and discard completely. Those kind of dangerous and malicious reports. I know, I know. So in this, <laughs> we also, we also clarify, yeah, right? no, no, thank that's you. What is going on thank you for in, for, in for clarifying uh, that yeah. issue, Tony. So Tony, so this one is not dangerous. Talk to us about um, what does the new coach think was his um, expectation from this team with what you see his body language. Is he impressed with the sort of quality in the team? Uh, for for a coach who has uh, worked in Africa before, he's a very experienced coach knows the African game very well and has a very good act of all our players. Um, he's been uh, putting up a lot of uh, he's putting up a lot of information on our players and um, he's very happy with, to work with Nigeria. And uh, in our meeting yesterday, he told us uh, that we need to be cordial. He wants excellent team spirit, hard work, and discipline. Those are the issues he focused on when talking with us. We need to have a very strong bond. We need to work hard. And then we need to be displayed on and off the beach. And uh, those are the things that the beliefs can drive us um, to success. And uh, is that the time also with the players? And I'm sure that was the same message that it brings to, to the players. Um, so 
is, 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 the atmosphere is excellent. It's very good. The players are happy. Um, the, the coaches are happy. The background staff are happy to work with him. And uh, the Air Force impression matters a lot. The first impression he has created is that of somebody who is like a father uh, and uh, who will carry everybody along. And we hope it remains this way. Uh, and more importantly, we also pray that the results on the pitch will uh, accompany all of these efforts so that we can push smart back on the face of Nigeria. Okay, and now the game uh, today against Aqua United, are we going to be having the full team of Aqua United or is just selected side that will be playing against the Super, the Super Eagles, talking about the test match? In a practice game, it's not an official game, it's um, maybe a game of 80 minutes. Um, it's just for the team to be able to loosen up uh, and um, for the coaches to be able to see what they can do because we have a very, very little time now. Uh, we won't be able to, to train beyond Friday morning because the Tanzanians will have to use the pitch uh, Friday uh, evening. So we just have about two, three training sessions to do all that we need to do. So they believe playing this kind of uh, competitive game, practice game, will really help us to understand what everybody can do, express yourself, and then the coaches will be able to use that to prepare for the game against Tanzania on Saturday. It's, it's not so much about the results, it's just about how the team plays, how they line out, how they organize, and um, how they're able to apply all that uh, we wanted to see mm. in the team on Saturday against Tanzania. Mm. Twain, we must say thank you so much for giving us these updates. Let's do this again tonight. Thank you. And that's it, Super Eagles Media Officer Twain Ibito, giving us updates from the camp of the Super Eagles in Uyo. Tyra, I like the fact that, yes, we need to clarify course, issues because it was everywhere that the scary, coach yeah. wasn't cool with um, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a particular mm. website that had, okay, I won't mention uh, the website. Yeah, it's it's a very funny website. website. It yeah. says, uh, it, it, uh, okay. quit, quit Eagles Camp. I was like, why use why you quit? I mean, yeah, I mean that's mm. come on, like that's why we have to, you know, clarify. Very that's important. why we have to get the that's real, right. you know, story out of uh, Tony there, and uh, we all know now that A Mama yep. uh, is still a part yeah, of the set of course. He's just gone back to, you know, manage Very inside. Yeah, that's yeah, his they're bread, they're bread they're and they're butter, right? Yeah. Mm. Rangers International. They, they're chasing the first league title, and yeah. because you also have other games today. Quickly, Warrior Wolves will be playing against Aimba. That's a big, that's a big one. one. Yeah. They have Wiki Tourist mm. and Lobby Stars also in action. These are rescheduled games uh, in the midweek uh, today. So for. Well, Lenu Gunray just coach, wish him all the best because they're actually chasing the title and they actually winning. You should, also, you should mm -hmm. also wish MFM all the best because oh, they are really because they struggling were. times oh, for MFM, MFM for a team that started partial on the Some players yeah. traveled yesterday. I will learn that the others, the, will, the others may fly in, you know, this morning and other. You're having yeah. a game, so you're traveling yesterday. Some others flying in today. Sometimes That's issues why they like that is always very <laughs> That's why they need a lot of love for you to be able to play the game and play well so that after that, we won't hear of robbery everywhere because that's the song right uh, now in mpfl okay uh we've been talking about coach samson yeah. so yesterday spoke to us you know concerning non payments and everything and all that and of course the minister you know yesterday when he went to uh the state house he went, actually went to see the president brief him and all that up uh, some questions was put to him you know and of mm -hmm. course he also had to talk about coach samson yes, yes, and how he felt about the treatment of him